You talk about a big primetime game, day one, Continental Cup. It's women's team play. And in the world's corner, 2018 Olympic champion, Anna Hasselberg. North American corner, 2017 world champion, Rachel Holman. It will be a world championship for Rachel Holman. The last draw of day one, and North America will try to end Team World's dominance. Evening play under the bright lights. Catch it next. After a couple of days of heavy rain, the forecast now dry and milder for the rest of our stay here in Las Vegas at the Orleans Arena as it hosts the Continental Cup for a fourth time. This day one has belonged to Team World as they have swept both the morning and afternoon draw of mixed doubles. As on this Thursday night, we say hello Canada. Welcome back to Las Vegas. Cheryl Russ alongside the previous high was a five and a half to one half lead by Team World. That was 2008 Camrose, and uh, World went on to win it. What's wrong right now for uh, the uh, Team North America? Well, it's a little bit that mixed doubles can be a little bit more luck involved than the traditional game. The ice has been a little tricky. There's been some frost, and I think you've got a World team that's coming in. They've been shut out for the last six years, and they want this very bad. But, you know, it's, it's getting a little late early here for North America. Six points is only six points, but there's 30, obviously, on Sunday, so you can bank on that, possibly. But you don't want to go into Sunday down 20. So it is Rachel Holman against Anna Hasselborg. And give uh, Rachel Holman some credit. She has taken ownership of that Olympic uh, disappointment and is refocused. Well, they have so had such a great year. They're the best in the world right now. They're number one on tour. They're 44 and 12 in this season so far. But three of those losses have been to Hasselberg. And both teams, they play such an aggressive style game with no fear. But so far, Hasselberg has come out on top. Hasselborg, uh, boy, she's accomplished so much at such a young age. But you admire the way she approaches this game. The effort never changes. The attitude, the shot making. And the last two years have just been incredible. European Championships, second in the world last year. Won a gold medal for their country in February. What else can you say about this young team? They're a lot like Holman, really. They're, there's no fear in either team. They've both got all the shots. Whoever picks up in this ice first is going to win this game. So when we do come back to Las Vegas, it's our feature matchup. It's women's team play. And it is Rachel Holman on the ice against Anna Hasselborg of Sweden as our coverage of the Continental Cup continues from Las Vegas. The 2019 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. The 2019 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. By New Holland. Hashtag Together Blue. And by Pioneer Hybrid. Serving Canadian farmers for over 70 years. Not the first time these two have met and they'll likely meet many more times before their respective careers are over. Anna Hasselberg and Rachel Holman. Time to meet the teams now. It's brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. The hail, of course, from the Ottawa Curling Club. Skipped by Rachel Holman with Lisa Weagle, Joanne Courtney, and Emma Miskew. Anna Hasselberg and her team from Sundsberg, Sweden, with uh, Sophia Mobergs, Agnes Nockenhauer, and Sarah McManus, the reigning Olympic gold medal champion. Team World will play the uh, Red Stones, North America the Yellow, and Hasselberg has uh, has won the draw to the button, and so she will have the last draw. Hasselberg will have the hammer playing the Red Stones. Rachel Holman is out, has the brush down to get us underway. Here is Lisa Weagle. Well, I think as much as these teams enjoy a different format, this is kind of a break from your traditional, the years long, and you're always focused on the big events you're playing in. They're also thinking about their playdowns coming up for both teams, and you like to get a game together as a team during this week. 
especially on arena ice. I know it's been a little frosty. It's going to get better. I talked to Dave Merklinger. It was as high as 80% humidity in here uh, early this morning. It's down to 60. He still feels there'll be some frost because there's more bodies out there and it's more air movement and that could push the moisture onto the ice, creating frost. But having that humidity coming down is huge. So expect a really well curled game here. Yeah, you just thought when you're competing, Cheryl, I'm sure you were the same as I was. You just couldn't wait to get on arena ice. Oh, any chance? No, it's it's. Yeah, and then you hope. I mean, I know for Holman, they'll be back out for their provincials. Will be arena, mm -hmm. so they get an opportunity to get out. So this is kind of this game, as much as it may not mean as much for a title or big money. It's about preparing for their provincials and some arena ice opportunity. Line's good. Gotta go. Five. Look, we'll keep going. Six. Keep going to finish. Whoa, 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 we're there. Whoa, whoa. Mm, very good. nice. And right around they go and they leave it top edge of the four. What do you think of that, Russ? The, that play by Hasselberg to play it to the to the corner and cover the edge of the eight. I, I like it, and I also like the position it's in. If that's longer, it's difficult to make the shot you're gonna see right now because it would be closer to the center line. Having it that deep, it gets away from the center and allows uh, Team Hasselberg to make that out turn come around. No, I really like it. They can raise it. They can still get around it because of the beautiful curl that uh, Merklinger and uh, Gang have given the teams here. So she crashes on that center guard, does open up shot rock, but there's lots now there for both teams to uh, possibly play back. Ice looked yeah. perfect. Yeah. Will it last? One. We're not big, eh? No. One. Looks tight though. Room, room. Line's One. good. Line's good. We're over, right? Yeah. I want to congratulate uh, Joe and Courtney and her husband, Mark. They are uh, expecting their first child in uh, July. And then Rachel Holman, husband, Sean Germain, they're expecting their first child in uh, in June. So nice judge. Babies all around here. That's pretty thrilling mm -hmm. for both of them. So light. Oh, OK. Scrub yeah, McManus, yeah, yeah. Mobergs, run it straight okay. back. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were hoping to get the uh, corner on the uh, world financial side there, but uh, they'll take it. That is kind of the similarity between these two teams where they'll play super offensive, aggressive freezes, they'll stack stones up, but they've got the hitting ability, the big weight, the run back. That get it a jail shot. Well, it, let, it allows you to take more risk and be comfortable with more risk. Seven. And it's now the, the, the prototypical curling team with that up weight at the mm -hmm. second spot. No question. Right, and so now you have somebody like Nockenhauer and of course, uh, Joanne Courtney at second for Rachel Holman. Oh, very nice. Uh, maybe just a tad deep hey, and just back yeah. on the T line. Going to run it back again, though, this time. Look to, to stick it behind. Ideally, they'd like to get that corner guard on the way by, or, or straight back and stick it would work too, Vic. They could get this corner guard, then it opens up the one turn, the intern, and they've got a short raise on the outturn side. Close. They're going to hold it. I'm going to catch that oh, one, run it by. Okay, now they've got three guards in front. In fact, there are four of them out there, but okay. oh, three that are nicely promotable. One, two, two. Just incredible records from both these young teams when you think of their ages. Two and a half. 
you know, uh, for Hasselberg, it's a little easier to get out of her country, granted, but when she gets out of her country, she makes the other countries pay. You know, she's she's earned all the medals and uh, all the awards, and uh, for Rachel to win three times at the Canadian level is unbelievable. It's interesting that we call it to pay a Lindholm <laughs> sister. She runs the <laughs> Swedish Curling <laughs> Association. They've dedicated a lot of money uh, at uh, teams like Hasselborg or at Dean. And now, you know, David Murdoch was telling me he's following somewhat similar plan when it comes to uh, the British program, mm -hmm. and in particular the Scottish program. Well, let's take a look at the keys to the game. We'll start with uh, Team Holman. Well, I think this game, as I said, isn't about uh, titles and it's not about a lot of money, but it is about sending a message because the next time these two teams probably meet would be in a world championships and you don't want to go into that game one and four. And the renewed focus, I, I've been so impressed with this team. They took ownership of that Olympic uh, trials or that Olympics last year. They know that they didn't perform like they expected, but they decided they were coming back. They were all in and they're managing the ice and the rocks, and that's been the biggest change from this team. You're there. That's it. That's too much. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see more? Yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. I would agree with you. I didn't think I threw more. And for Team Hasselborg. Well, I'm saying force the draw, and then even though I would say my opinion it's the best i've ever seen uh, rachel throw the draw weight but on this surface nobody's making them so if you can force the other skipper to draw that four footer through a port make a finesse shot you might be rewarded normal weight hits hasselberg's one of the best in the world maybe the best in the world normally i'd like to see softer weight but not on this surface that's the desired weight here keep the weight normal they're good at it throw that normal weight all the time and they'll make a lot of shots keys to the game are brought to you by cashmere nothing feels like cashmere a little bit deep there, so they do have that run back opportunity here. And they've seen this a couple times. A little tight on that one. Yeah, I think so. The second throw felt pretty good. The first one was a little complicated, I think. The second one was pretty true. Yeah, but I thought just middle, like nothing to the outside. Okay, yeah. There. Okay. It's probably worth, if you can now, just tucking around that right hand. Uh, even top 12 wouldn't hurt. Takes the run back away. Just, just bury an inch. Mm -hmm. Where's ideal? Kind of the same spot. Three? Yeah. Two and a half? Yeah. Sweet. Split center is good. Yeah. Okay. Up to speed here. Yeah. Pick a 15 to T. Yeah. Always information, always updating the skipper. Yeah, this is one of the best Vic front ends. They know, they watch every path, they pay attention to Two. every rock. There's in the opposite teams. Two and a half. Two. They okay. could tell you to, where to put the broom ways. down just as well as Rachel could. Gotta keep this going for legs to try and get to the line. Very nice to <laughs> fill the hole. No, sweepable. Yeah. As Holman does sit the uh, the uh, shot stone and covered. And the other thing here too now, uh, Russ, is you, if you're Hasselborg, you're running yeah. back the opposition stone. Yeah, exactly. If you ever stick this, leave a guard. Rachel sinks another one. It could be as big as a potential steal of two. I thought they might take a crack at running their, one of their own in trail. Obviously, miss that. There's consequences too. Yeah, the one on the right looks pretty good mm. to me, and it's even tighter to the rings. Mm -hmm. They admitted they were dead tired last year when they got to North Bay in the Women's World Championships, losing to Jennifer Jones. 
in the final and just runs it okay. by, but does open it up. As we uh, take a live look now at Jamie Sinclair and the team from Chaska, Minnesota against uh, Tiranzoni. Savannah Tiranzoni out of Arau and Sinclair, the only uh, North American team to have last rock as they play in the first. 25 year old. Of course, born just outside of Ottawa. We used to play with uh, Rachel Holman back in the day. Boy, sneak this one by. A little bit more. Drag it. Oh, no. Oh. Almost. That's the one. It's close. So just. That little rub took the steam out of it. Then Sinclair with the early lead. Four. Wait, good. Four. Just love to throw the same shot twice. They've done it four or five times, but the, it, you get a really good feel for your rocks here. Well, you might as well even come in, Russ. Oh yeah, like you said, just just bury an inch. You could steal two. Have overcooked it a bit. And in she goes. And Sinclair actually scores two, so it did gear off and get in for the deuce. So Sinclair up by two on Tiranzoni. It's tricky though because I'm right behind it. You can just see almost all of Shot Stone, but it's not very fun to throw at. No. You can't throw a draw. You're gonna have to throw that middle way. Yeah, the draw would be safer because you know that that sport spot's warmed up. It's just gonna curl too much and the corner guard's in the way. So now you're getting forced to guess. Now you're throwing that middle weight, probably a hack I'd be guessing. Into a fresh spot. Yeah. <laughs> And you're not sure what it'll do with that extra weight. We saw Frederick Lindbergh there. He is the uh, coach of this team. Former uh, player with Nicholas Adine. Went to a couple of Olympics, Vancouver and in Sochi, before retiring. Coach. And there is Nicholas. <laughs> kind of odd. We were saying that he didn't isn't playing on this opening day at all. So he'll be playing mixed doubles tomorrow as well as men's team Sorry, games Ian. tomorrow night. Now, where will this sit down? <laughs> yeah, it does in time. Very nice throw by the gold medalist. And a Hasselboer, forced to the single, Holman will have hammer when we come back. Day one of the 2019 World Financial Group Continental Cup continues here from the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. And a Hasselboer in a nice shot. Hold the shooter to score the one. So Rachel Holman and her team now for the first time here in the second will have last rock. They have the hammer playing the Yellowstone. And it pretty much follows the same kind of pattern we saw in that first from Hasselborg. Up went the center. Holman plays to the corner and then around comes Hasselborg. Yeah, and then you got Lisa playing the shot she loves, which is a little tick and try and roll her shooter in behind that corner. It's taken off on her though. They gotta be careful not to bump this straight back. Oh, is it ever going? And there you go. Pumped it out into the open. That's very unweagle like. Yeah. <laughs> That one's going. 
from two, Cheryl. I mean, close to where they wanted it. We're playing eight ends. It's the five rock rule now, of course. No uh, stoppages, as we saw at the Canada Cup. Every team will now have three timeouts, 60 second timeouts, first half, and then three more in the second half. Cannot carry over. Thinking time is four minutes, one through four, four fifteen, five through eight. And we will not break a tie. So if the game is tied after eight, each team gets a half point. But through the first six games today, the mixed doubles, it was all one. Nothing split as uh, Team World leads at 6 nothing. All the games tonight are worth a single point. Joanne's even came up there. She was trying to get that a little higher. It over curled on you. Get a little higher and you chip both those reds at least back into the back of the rings and roll behind that corner. Everything's over curled here. A lot of weight on this one though. We'll be happy with that one. They wanted to keep it in the paint, keep that force going. In turn. Yeah. Okay. Just. I feel like this will come up a little. Okay. Okay. Seven eights. Yeah. And runs it by everything. It gets to be the problem that, you know, we've seen with the five rock is now you look, if you're the team with Hammer, which is North America, you're starting to get your paths all blocked off, even for your one. It can get pretty tricky. Where are you drawing now? You've got the out turn wide. Don't you have to start running things in though at this point or get pretty close for us? Yeah, if you're, yeah for sure, but that's not easy either. So much curl out here, the, those straight back run backs, uh, you know, to, to stick them is very tough. There's so much movement from halfway between the hog line and the house. It just goes sideways it's and don't overthrow it. Yeah, it's beautiful ice. So here you go, running it straight back? Yep. Yeah, for sure. You have a miss cue. Oh boy. Yeah. Just grazes it on the way by. And now when you look at that stone, the shooter, it's rolled over now and maybe just watch where this goes. See that little roll there? Oh. Oh, and now it tucks a corner in behind the longer guard, so you can't get to the nose. No, those are almost worse than missing it big and rolling away. <laughs> you miss it by a hair and your shooter goes nowhere. You're helping the other team. She's so close to clipping that. They wanted a little four inches farther over. Might make them all disappear yeah, now. I don't know if they all go, but. Okay. okay. 
Well, after a blank in one, yeah, Jennifer Jones, Heath awesome. Muirhead, Muirhead with Last Rock. You see those two yellow stones in the eight foot. They are totally undercover. And so this is a draw against those two four. Eve Muirhead and the team from the Dunkeld Curling Club, the 2013 world champion. She's had to rebuild her team a little bit as well with a Jennifer Dodds coming in at third. Dodds now brushes. It's uh, Vicki Adams, Vicki Chalmers now. And so she'll come up light. It will be a steal of two for Jennifer Jones. He put it right on the butt three times in a row with the other turn in practice and just, I think, assumed that spot might be as keen. And that came down coming in or? On, on impact. Okay, do you think it's like kind of regular draw weight? House, and as soon as it touched the guard, it was like all the weight came off. Do you of think it. it's normal draw weight for reach? Yeah, for the draw line. Okay. Just try and tuck this a little bit. You could get it to uh, eight foot, top four if the line's really good. Just don't want to be too deep on this. Boy, look at the finish and right underneath. Goodness. Very nice. Maybe a foot or two deeper than they wanted, but it's, it's right underneath. So they are sitting the two, and don't forget the little biter at the back. So sitting three. She got like she wasn't nowhere near that guard. They talked about just trying to get to the nose, tap this back. The only risk when you're throwing that, you're taking a little different path than Anna just threw. What do you think? We've thrown two down here. Looks like maximum ice, and especially with Rach Rachel's release and rotation. That's and for a little tap, hey? Yeah, it's five feet of ice they're asking here with a little bit more than draw weight. Yeah, yeah, it's cooked hard, though. And not till the end, though, right? Right. So I don't know. I, I'm with you. I think this looks like a max that you'd want to take. Unless she's just going to play the straight freeze, mm -hmm. and if they've got the little extra weight at the end, then Could you brush be. it. Straight free, Cheryl. That's yeah, that's the reason. Seven, seven. Whoa. We're Whoa. tapping. No. Close. Close, Joe. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I lost it. Uh, it's too bad. Yeah. Wait, wait. It's as if they. Good judge. Yeah, the judgment yeah, was good, but they they miscommunicated a little bit, to my mind. Mm, I think Alsop has to come in because Rachel's got that in off double. Mm -hmm. so I think you got to come right in as she is showing. Well, after Jamie Sinclair scored two, Savannah Tiranzoni is sitting one. That's the red stone. And with uh, Tiranzoni, the skip, but throwing third stones, the fourth stone being thrown by Alina Petz, the uh, world champion from Sapporo in 2015, who joins the team this year. And earlier today, we saw win her mixed doubles. Uh, yeah, that's uh, super nice, as they say. Boy, that was way out wide. Just incredible weight control. Final stone for Anna Hasselborg. 
These are hard to call line. I, I look at them coming down the sheet thinking I'd go to plan B because it's not curling and then they just hook at the end. You have to believe it's going to go. Okay. Oh, almost knocked them in for shot rock. Oh, a little flowier slide also took that. She's not going to take on the double. She's trying to hit it, Cheryl, with like a back line and maybe yeah. roll in, spin it in for the two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it didn't look like she was super, super positive. Like your out turn should be able to hold better than that. Did Hasselberg yeah, want it that deep? Uh, I think that should be close. Well, she tapped yeah. frozen. Yeah, it's funny. Hawk, got to hit a third and roll in. Okay. Rachel's made a lot of these this fall. 35, Soft weight stuff that sure. kind out, of eluded her in the uh, Olympics. Okay, so, so hack weight. Do you think true hack in here for speed? Uh, what do you mean? Like, do you think it'll come down here in the middle, or you think um, it'll run okay? I think if it comes down to level, we still make That's the still shot. Fine. Okay, yeah. Okay. Hack Are you weight. throwing this? Um, I think it's max ice, but I think I should believe it. Touchless! Gotta make I sure. See. Always that reminder to the thrower. How are you throwing it? It makes you responsible for the throw and makes sure you have a clear idea of how your release is coming down the ice. Pack! Clean! It's good, eh? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it's oh, a oh, final oh, stone oh, for oh, Rachel Holman right now. Oh, it is oh, Hasselborg oh, sitting oh, the one. Got a release. Got to go, Lisa Weagle. Got to go. You need to roll inside as well. Good. Oh, and uh, now the shooter rolls close. away, and they have a look, and it is close. It looks to my eye that it may be a steal of one. I think so too, Vic. Uh, Could be, possibly. Well, you <laughs> really jumped all over measure. that. Yep. 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 How neutral was that? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Maybe. I'm well, Vic's from Switzerland, right? You gotta be careful. <laughs> <Huh>? So true. <laughs> so isn't it funny? She did tighten up the ice. Is that the difference in that shot, you think? Well, it, it had to curl a little more, actually. I mean, probably, probably hair heavier than she wanted to be, sure. Yeah, I, I would have thought max weight on that. Possibly. <laughs> Could have been. I think I think they all. You heard the front end say, "You think if you throw board weight here, uh, Rachel, will it come down a bit in speed?" And I don't think it did. So Holman to Hasselborg, and no doubt. So a steal of one for the reigning Olympic gold medalist leads it 2 nothing. As we play now on the third end on this Thursday night to cap day one of our coverage. The Continental Cup from the Orleans Arena here in Las Vegas. Uh, team World leading 6 nothing heading into these games, all worth a single point, women's team play. And once again, Rachel Holman, after the giving up that steal of one, trails 2 nothing. She will have the last drop playing the Yellowstone. Lisa Weagle. Lisa's getting a chance to try this little tick and roll in behind their corner guard that she threw. It's close. Any thinner that might have been in the ring. Oh. <laughs> At least it opens it up. I know. It's a really, really intelligent call, isn't it? it, it you, know, you open it up, you've got two rocks you can use, you've got corners. You can't make it any better than that after four rocks. I think that's what you're going to see a little more of, right? You're going to see ticks, you're going to see mm -hmm. throws to the wings when you have hammer. A lot more of those type of yes. calls with the hammer. For sure. Oh, 
Joanne Courtney. Oh. There it goes. Hey, shot, Joe. Oh, and look at that roll underneath. That was made Contact. with the right weight. Didn't yes. overthrow it. A little bit of option, too. You could play it tight by that top one, even if you tick it and roll on. It's mm -hmm. not so bad either. Let's you be a little bit more aggressive, but it moved. It's definitely a lot of movement from the halfway into the, or halfway to the house. But as you said, she didn't overthrow it. No, weight was. Perfect. Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Magnus Nockenhauer. Got it. And where will this roll? And come back, sits there on the edge of the eight, and totally under that slight stagger. Ooh, very good shot. Yeah, that could be a chance to force. room though it rolled far enough uh, the team world stone that you can come around this yeah, it really has to move though that late movement it just ticked it on the way by did it it actually changed the handle. That's the problem. It, it got the right angle, but then it changed handles and came sneaking back out in the open, or partially open. Did watch a little rub. And then watch the handle. So there's the touch, and come on. Oh, I, I, I go the other way now. <laughs> the other turn. Sarah McManus, as we play third stone. Sarah joined us earlier today from the players' bench. She watched mixed doubles. A little bit of roll here, too. Yeah, just almost. I think it's a little bit, a few grains of granite underneath. Just about perfect. Chance here, though, you get this right, you can roll under, be shot. Emma yeah, miscue. It's right there. It's coming down. Yeah. But that was well, not the role they were playing. They were trying to go behind the mm -hmm. corner. Yeah. Pretty good miss, wasn't it? Because another nose hit here, and there might be a double. It's way out there. Touch something. Just enough to let it go all the way through. Just a redirection. A little wide, a little heavy. It's so important for all four yeah. players to understand what each spot's to, like, doing, Cheryl. I, I think they were a little worried at this end that uh, that would hit some fresh pebble and take off and hit the center guard. Okay. Back line. 
fine. Yeah, just let her know. I tell you what, that uh, there's no question now. It is under cover that second shot, Rock, belonging to Castleborn. Here comes that center guard. Wait, court. Here comes that center guard. And it'll spill into the open, and they're grouped. Great wait. Shoot, wait. Well, that one did come down if they had their weight right, because they yelled 11, like basically threw the rings back 12, and that was never going to be back 12. So. No, they and all, you heard Joanne all. say earlier, they're coming down in the mm -hmm. center there, yeah. so that's the second one that's done that. Interesting. Very similar to the first two games today. Not a super easy double. When they're tight together like that, you hit a little bit too much of the top rock. You don't get enough of the second one. You hit the uh, one on the center line as thin as possible here. Probably roll towards the red one. Oh. Like had a little bit around the horn and back up. Yeah, it might be, yeah, it might be right in front of it. <laughs> yes. whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Skip Stones right. here in the third. Hey. Hey. Anna Hasselborg, hey. everyone hey. called right off. What do you got? One, two. Oh, oh it backs oh. up. Oh, doesn't stop. quite move it far enough. So Shot Rock, though, does belong to Team World, sitting top edge of the four. Happens all the time when they're close together. It looks so simple, but you, you, you hit the first one so thick, you don't have enough power to get the second one. It ran into the back rock before it hit it the did. top one. They had the angle wrong there. Well, and it, they were both calling one. Anna was calling whoa and... Uh, Sarah was calling yes. I think I slid a little bit further than what I thought. I didn't want to play that one. I couldn't play it up there. I thought that I should play it up there. In a 2 2 tie, and uh, Team World and Tiran Zoni sitting the one as the final stone for Jamie Sinclair out of Chaska, Minnesota. Sinclair lost the U.S. Uh, trials to go to Pyeongchang to Nina Roth. Uh, not good. Oh. And so it's a steal of two. Chance here to roll under and get shot behind some cover. You even miss it thin here, get it thin and go right over to the back one underneath cover. No bears. Knocking Hauer. There you go. Thin. And then over the top. Said to sweep it. Uh, caught right in the middle. Yeah. Either or curl up or, as you say, get on it and get it thinner. Same with their first one, right? It was, it yeah. just in between. <laughs> Two well thrown rocks. Nothing to show for it. She thought she was all there. Yeah, I think so. Do you like the same weight as last end, your little freezer? 
it's slower than that. I think I need a touch less. Hey, I like the same weight as last end. You were full four, didn't do much with it. Keep your extension. You think it's up to speed? I think so. Okay. If anything, I think it's coming down a little. Okay, okay. nice extension. So trailing by two, final stone here in three, and a chance to get two back to tie. Yeah, line. <laughs> Needs full eight foot. <laughs> and a lot of huffing and puffing already. We're on, we're on the <laughs> Come on, he's wow. being choked. <laughs> Come on. We got enough here, ladies. Not a chance. Yeah, so missed opportunity. Home and has to settle for one. You're given only so many chances, and uh, Rachel Holman had one there to draw for a second point. Came up light. So now we go to the fourth, and it's Team World. And Anna Hasselborg that does have the lead and does have the last rock. She has the hammer playing the red stones and up to the one. Sophia Moberts. Well, I really like the information that uh, Joanne and Lisa were giving Rachel on her last throw. They were really telling her, you know, nice, good release, crisp release. So don't baby it. She just didn't kind of add that extension at the end. Unforced error there, obviously thinking it would uh, start to die out wide, but being this early in the game, it's still running pretty true. 14? Yeah. Like, close to that. Yeah. Or nice extension, back four. Yeah, I'll keep my extension. T-line, back four. Yep. Whose responsibility? It may be a little simple, but your front end is giving you all that information, Cheryl. And then Rachel, in her own mind, in her mind, somehow rejects it. Does she then have to say that I'm not believing you? Does she have to be a little more clear, or is it all of her at that point? Yeah, well, I think it's both. I think the team's being really clear that this is not the kind of ice that you can just come out and let go. You've got to give it that little extra to get it to track down the sheet. So I think you got to go back to Rachel and go, did you feel like you did that? And if she did, then she's going to have to, as we heard today, recalibrate and get a, a new feel for this ice, or she just can admit, hey, I just didn't add. I didn't believe you guys. And that happens. Sometimes you think mm. you've kicked out and yep. you feel like it's what you should throw or you don't believe your team. Um, you know, she will now. Depends how many draws you've thrown in the game, too, and how that feel is. Perfect. That was a tough yeah. shot. And rolling it away, Agnes Nockenhauer. Yeah, it's one thing to hit it, but to stay in the rings for second shot. Rachel's got to be a bit careful here. I know this is it's so easy to bury here, but it can, it can come out the other side just as easy as you can have it buried. And they, without the advantage of hammer here, they got to be a little careful. Heavy, it's hanging out wider, which allowed to slow down. Doesn't look heavy. You gotta go, both of you. Back eight straight. All They're the trying way. to go, drag go. it as far back as they can so All they the get a little bit more curl. Sorry. We can't have time. We have two in this time. What's that? We can't have time. We have two in this in a 2-2 tie at Redstone, just sitting top edge of the four, belongs to Eve Muirhead. 
as she plays her last in her uh, sixth appearance at the Continental Cup. One and four is her record overall in the Continental Cup play. And now everyone backing off. Hard, Caitlin, you got it, you got it, you got it, you're good, you're good, you're good. One. Uh -huh. Missed opportunity there, too. <laughs> She's coming back, too, from uh, what they call keyhole surgery on her uh, hip, which is arthroscopic surgery. So she's uh, getting herself back into shape. Missed the first part of the season because of it. Well, I think that combination with, you know, a different third, a different player trying to get uh, Jennifer Dodds worked into the team. I, I talked to her the other day and she said it's definitely uh, taking a little bit more than you think when you change a player. Yeah, the longtime third, Anna Sloan, and and a former skip has uh, stepped back from the game, although she is involved now with the uh, the program, the curling program. So she's still keeping her fingers in the game. Oh, lots of value there. Lots of experience to give back to players coming up in the game. Patient call here. They, they talked about freezing. They talked about just going around, beating Holman in there. But I think they're going to take a crack at this uh, North American yellow one that's buried. Try to hit it out and roll in. We might get the back one here. Oh, that was tricky. A little heavy again. That's his couple times. That was supposed to be a lot lighter. Hit about a quarter of that yellow and try to hang on the corner. Decision time for Rachel. Do you keep going to go into the well? Or do you hit something? Yeah. Looks like she's going to the hit. I think you have to, Cheryl, don't you? Well, it's getting pretty, yeah. You play one more time around there and it's not perfect. And you could be, if they ever get a chance in to get in behind there or freeze, your end goes away. Maybe hit roll behind or on top of that back red one. Well, the first mention of the word frost, we heard it there. Mm -hmm. Not as dramatic as the game one and two, but it's going to happen by the end of the game. The only place you can't be if you're world on this one is behind the tee and give Team North America an out with a freeze. So anywhere top four, tucked around. Yikes. And just that bit too deep as they go back edge of the four. Getting shot. Sarah McManus. Margareta Sigfordson. Remember Margareta? Oh, yes. Silver medal in Sochi and uh, losing to Jennifer Jones and she was the, everything was a silver lining for her. She yeah. never managed to win a gold. Yeah. Remember four silvers in the worlds as well. Wow. Well, both, it's interesting how Sarah McManus and Agnes Nockenhauer came through the Sigfordson School of Curling and now here they are uh, playing uh, with uh, Hasselborg. Well, they didn't learn the silver lesson because they've definitely gone. No, they didn't. Gone no, gone. they've uh, taken it one better, haven't they? <laughs> they have. You, to, you know, you, know, you felt. Eight, nine. Bad for yeah. Margaret in so many cases because they're, those worlds, silver, 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 gets to Sochi. What does she do? Silver medal. Yeah, exactly. So that was just a great opportunity. And yeah, it was just weight. She had good ice on it. Yeah, people will say it's too much ice, but watch this movement. It actually gets to the desired line. It just gets there too late because they're two feet heavy. Look, look at that goal. <laughs> they managed to get second shot though, which is huge. Yeah, that's tricky. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Not yet. laughs> it's quite talented. Not, not. Buried around a back four foot not stone, yet. top eight. Second chance for Sarah to come down on here. Gotta get it by the eight foot one. Don't leave it too long here. Oh. <laughs> well, that was brilliant. I'm with you. I was like, sweet. <laughs> it's yeah. going sideways. Yeah. Beautiful shot. There is an out here for Team Holman, but a pretty dodgy area that uh, they haven't played very much. It's maybe back line, Cheryl, to get to the T line. Yeah, has this, would have this been close to the path for her draw just, for Hammer? Just a hair wider, I think. This. I think that 13 2 is close now. Yeah, I agree. They were back 8 with that 13 2. We're sweeping for T here? Yeah. You can sweep to B there. Okay. okay. Like. Yeah, really got to be nose on this. Okay. And for sure, she's just going to slash it. Okay. Four more feet? Yep. Nice extension. Maybe five? Yeah. Referring to Rachel's draw last in, just four or five more feet than what she threw. She's just about back line. We can see the stress. Go ahead, for line. Line. A little light. Okay, go ahead, for line. Line's pretty good. Up. Uh, Wait only. Got yeah, room. Close. Yeah, line. Line's great. Six, Six. seven. Clean it. Oh, Don't let your room. No line. Clean it's it. Close. You then. Yeah, gotta go. 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 Come on, Lise! Gotta go! Gotta go! Gotta go! Go, 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 go! I don't know. I don't think so. I they still think it is uh, Team World and Hasselberg hitting the two. You think two? I don't know. I think they might have got it for a second. Come on, Lise! Come on, Lise! Have I been wrong today? <laughs> no, this would, this would be your first. <laughs> yeah. Of many. <laughs> what do you think now, looking at it? Uh, yeah, I think you might, might be there for a second. You know, it was funny because they jumped on it, and then I heard somebody said, take a look up, and they got off it for a second, and then they went again, and just, they were right out of her hand. Nice brush. Did that come down? Because it looked hard and then I was scared <laughs> that we were overcooking yeah. it. And then yeah, you hear Joanne because they, they thought they might have <laughs> jumped on it too yeah, hard out of the hand. It could go this way, Cheryl. Play it off of that. It's a little risky. Get it out that way. That kills this one also. And then you're sitting three, all buried with hammer. Or you do it the other way, the one they're talking about. Just come down, get it on the side, maybe kick this over. They'd love to get the yellow one behind the T line so then Rachel can't use it to come off of it. But that's hard to do. You'd have to throw some speed and carom that red one just about sideways. Yeah. You can see the outside half of that yellow on it. I, I, I like the original call where you can just hammer it back there. Even if you pick it clean, Rachel's got to make that same shot again. Well, I'm even wondering if the straight pick is just the call. Yeah. Just pick it. And if it hits the red in the way by, it probably gets the yellow. Are you just going to tap, maybe? I think so. Get as close to... Oh, yeah. I can't see. That's not... Okay. I don't know. So you could leave a double pretty easy. But exactly. I'm not sure what the concept is here. And you also leave the yellow one where it is. Is she coming around at all? Maybe. Maybe you could actually guard that yellow, couldn't you? The one that Rachel just threw. I, I, I think it's the tap. Jamie Sinclair and her final stone already sitting one with a chance here to score a couple and tie. She's real close on the tap. And she'll come up uh, way light. So a single for Sinclair, according to the break, 4-3. Team World and uh, 
Tiran Zoni leading. They did get away with it in some respects. That goes on to there, and that's gone. You might lose your one of the reds, but you can just do it with soft enough weight to sit as many as four. I think Rachel's got two options. She can tap the one she threw right to there, or you can play the out turn come around. Yeah, because it lines up perfect, right? So I yeah. think I have to tap this right to there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. She just threw this, too. It's got to be pretty perfect. Just saw it. So like, we got to get past this thing here. Yeah. Okay. I don't we think can't. it's going to make a lot of That's problems. why I thought uh, no, it's just Team Hassel would really take that away. I think so. They really didn't accomplish anything with the one they threw, and it just leaves the same shot for the skipper. We had to wait for the line. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's too much. I like yeah. that. Same line? No. Inches inside that. Because okay. I gotta throw another five feet here. Just touch it up. Time yeah. out. How are you throwing a second one, right? Yep. They're not. Same as my last. Keep it there. How much weight okay. are you throwing? Five more feet. Okay. I okay. like it. I like that. Yeah. They got her. We go. Courtney. Don't want to bump it too far. Heads bobbing. Heads bobbing. Oh, and it does. Uses that backing. Settles down back edge of the button. It's a wide eyed stare coming down the ice from Rachel Holman. It might be a thin in off, though. It's got to be the intern, though, doesn't it? Makes it a little tougher. Wow, what a great shot. Yeah. Or a pile. Yeah, the intern almost, it's just a rub redirect. Yeah, that makes it tougher. If you could throw the out turn, it'd be a lot easier. You almost have to miss this, don't you? Yeah. Kind of <laughs> rushing here, too. Final yeah. stone. Right out of her hand. They got her. Right out of her hand. No bags. Hauer, right out of her hand. What do you got? Come across. Oh, it's a beauty. It is a beauty. What a shot. Three for sure. Three for sure. And then they'll take a look around the edge of the, uh, the eight, center of the eight. She took no time on that. And from overhead, it, it looks as if it's yellow. Direct, come across, very nice. I mean, it was thrown well, but that was really well called because oh, those are hard. <laughs> like, you know, you're calling it to almost miss it. And yeah. they've kicked them away, and three it is for sure, which brings the world bench to its feet. Nice. Hoberg picks up her three to lead 5 1 midway through. When we come back, We'll introduce you to what Las Vegas Weekly calls one of the best shows in Las Vegas history. The 2019 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. The 2019 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by Pioneer Hybrid, serving Canadian farmers for over 70 years. By Cashmere Bathroom Tissue, nothing feels like cashmere. And by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. Guys are good, and they are. The juggling team that is part of the absinthe show here at Caesars Palace. 
It's uh, not your grandfather's vaudeville. This is vaudeville for a new generation, but your grandfather would probably like it too. Welcome to Absinthe! Absinthe is now in its eighth year and more than 4,000 shows featuring wild, outlandish acts performed on a circular stage where the audience is as close to the action as you can possibly get. Hosted by the filthy rich gazillionaire, it is a cocktail of circus, burlesque, and vaudeville for a 21st century audience. This is Absinthe at Caesar's Palace. Yeah. And all of it is uh, under the red and white tent located on the Roman Plaza at Caesar's Palace. There's something about Hannah Hasselborg right now. The way she's playing, she'll take what looks to be a difficult shot and make it very ordinary, very ho-hum. Well, and you think of the calling. Sarah had to call this so thin and almost missed it. And Anna was rushing to play that shot, which threw it. Well done. You could see Anna's that kind of player. She can see it, she runs down to throw it. <laughs> to uh, score three, the key shot brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians uh, better financial futures. You were saying that Rachel Holman has uh, struggled against Anna Hasselborg this year and uh, this curling season and is struggling here tonight as well in this women's team draw. Down now 5-1 as we begin play here in N number five. It is North America and Holman that does have last draw, does have the hammer, playing the Yellowstones. Well, this to the, these two teams played each other last year at the Continental Cup and they split the game. But definitely Hasselberg has the edge on Holman this year. Three and one. Holman would take a split right about now. You can clean it. Okay, make sure. It's moving. Rachel made two good shots that end too. Just a, a foot light in, a, in an area they hadn't played, which was a, a very good attempt, and then uh, made that top freeze buried. It still wasn't good enough. Let's check the numbers after four, and the big one, of course, is the score five-one Hasselborg. Well, and when you look inside it, I looked at the draw numbers between Rachel and Anna. Anna's at 100%. Rachel, she gave up that opportunity in the third end. She came up light on that draw for two, which could be a big point. And then as Russ just pointed out, her first shot in his last end, just light. And it's kind of that opportunity to put the pressure on the opposition and just close, but not quite there. The numbers after four are brought to you by Pioneer Hybrid, serving Canadian farmers for over 70 years. Okay. Well, this one has yeah. been uh, really close. Jennifer Jones against Eve Muirhead. That's the uh, third blank and uh, five ends, 2-1. Jones leading it, playing six with Last Rock. Okay. Ooh, glued to the corner. Tough situation, isn't it, for Hasselberg? You, you kind of want to guard it, but that's really a single rock that's there. They both fly if you hit that front one. You have to start looking at the score. Right, you have to look at that scoreboard. Make it both these yellows. This makes the most sense, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
I think that's the, the probably Not the better. most unique thing that I, I didn't get to play the five rock rule very much, but it forces teams, the five rock rule, it forces teams that are up three or four to still have to play the game. They can't run to the defense and it's when do you do that? When are you safe enough to be able to go straight defense? It's pretty late in the game. Kick that about three quarters underneath that yellow corner guard too. Down normal. Oh, oh. Weight's good. Clean. Oh. No walking. Whoa. It's really walking. Close. Oh, oh. oh girl. girl. Okay. Shit is gone. A lot of curl there. That was pretty firm, and it was on the outside of the broom all the way down. Got a crack at this double. Sarah McManus, third stone, zero and five. Down it! Down it, down it, down it! Go, 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 go! Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're in the middle. I can't Are you trying for the double? Yes. Yeah. But missed it the right way. You didn't want to go over the top and knock out your own and give Rachel an easy chance to sit too. Rachel's got to work for it now. Never wrong to hit and stay, uh, even uh, even yeah. up a few this early in the end, isn't it? It forces the other team to make some quality shots. Control! Here, solid! Oh, right. Yeah. Solid! No lines, hard. Oh, no. oh, it's close! Close. Yep, 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 yep. Rolling yep, it yep. underneath. Right. Frost, yeah. Not quite. It covers the... Uh, the second shot, Stone. You can see the white frost when uh, Rachel disturbed it by brushing there. That's the, you're going to have to keep that in mind that the, you're not going to get that roll to the corner. It's not going to roll that extra few inches. Doubles a possibility here. Right, right away. Right out of her hand. Got to get it by the corner first. Oh, and then they stuffed it. Yellow second shot. Yeah, I think it is. Sarah yelled whoa when she released that. That really curled. I think that's what they're uh, surprised about mm. from maybe it's their reaction. Yeah, maybe it's that frost rest you were pointing out with them brushing over on the side that you can kind of see the frost creeping up a bit in the nope, paths. No question. So if you get down a new spot, pretty unpredictable. Sitting two, Team North America and Rachel Holman. You tried that double there, you, your own red one's almost in the way. It might go underneath. Well, she made that thin, thin double in the last hand, so just a little different, I guess. A little more space. I think it will go under. <coughs> yeah, I think you have to hit it thin enough that it will. It's uh, 
young team uh, does the same thing as Nicholas Adin does with that uh, handles dead straight, the natural position. They don't counter turn the rock like most North Americans or almost all North Americans. I think it's easier to slide out of the hack with your rock on line. Then the trick is can you hit the broom by rotating it? Yeah, without flicking it in or out. Very thin, come across, not underneath. Well, okay. you'd really have to okay. just paper that. Yeah. Almost yeah. miss it. I, and I think the scoreboard says don't do that, right? <laughs> you have to protect. You don't want to breeze right by, give them three. Now, the thing is, that shot coming across, are they, in fact, the shot stone now? I don't well, know. It looks like, like red to me, but it's close. Then we can go into don't it. think Rachel would like hit it if it wasn't. Pushing it past the hack. Okay, so if I whisker it, I have to throw like normal. To She's get got it to a go. catcher over there okay. too. Like you're hitting nose and it's barely going past the hack. Okay, so you're thinking like control? Sure, do you want to come this way? Okay. That's my best guess. Yeah. Is that to say my best guess? Control. Would indicate what? Just not knowing, yeah. lack of confidence, or? Uh, two things, either they haven't played this actual line or what will the frost do as I let this thing go? Uh, Sarah's curled more than they expected. Now this is a much wider path. I think this is a more predictable spot. But there's definitely doubt, isn't there? Yeah, and they really would love anything to roll underneath that corner. Even the long hard. roll, she's got something to save it on. Control, hard! Yeah, uh, there's that catcher she talked about. Pretty good. Or well, how do you get to it? You can get to the shot rock, I guess. Because there is that corner out there. Yeah, and, there, and the guard's long enough, I think, with the right weight, you can get to the shot rock. And you might even be able to get a little bit of a flip under. If you get cute here, you know, and it takes off like Sarah's does. With, they're obviously going to throw like a board to hack. Takes off, fractures on the guard, it's a three. You really have to be sure what the, this rock's going to do if you're going to try to get to the inside. What do you think, maybe board? <laughs> yeah, nice. I think so. I couldn't believe my shot curled after seeing theirs. I know. But you would never underthrow it, or at least your normal. tendency wouldn't be. Difference in weight, I guess. Well, it, I guess. Like she came up to nose on hers. Mm hmm. She didn't like go far off that, like half a rock. Just couldn't get across the nose, so sits right there. And going to have that chance for two. Well, I think both teams are happy. I think uh, World is happy they held him to two because there was a chance it was looking like a three at one point, and I think uh, North America is happy to get their deuce. Remember in the third, Rachel Holman had that chance for a couple, had to settle for the single. Again now, here it's going again. Uh, trying to hold it. Courtney Weagle trying to hold this for her. Oh, great sweep indeed. What a save by Weagle and Courtney for the couple. Watching it as you did, and Russ, that was a you just like, <laughs> flat out said that was a bad shot for uh, <laughs> Sophia Moberg as so she put it through the back, and that might be an indication of the ice, I think. 
Yeah, what happens is you know they're all trained athletes. They're under watching the frost build up. You can see it coming, and it, it always looks worse than it really is. So you just tend to throw it a little harder, thinking it's going to slow down, because a lot of them have. And just threw it right through the break. Just because you see the frost building, and keep in mind there's maybe, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, a little higher than that, maybe a pebble that that frost has to get up over before it's going to affect the curling stone. Yeah, it just visually looks bad. So your mind plays some tricks on you, Cheryl, when it comes to seeing the condition. Does it come down then to communication? Everyone just has to make sure you're aware and... Yeah, I, I think I always really wanted to hear from the brushers that, hey, it's sliding good. You know, we're carrying it a long way. You just really want that confirmation because visually it's just a natural to throw that more weight. Time out. You can feel it. You see it. You can feel it on your gripper because the gripper will go underneath the pebble a little bit, you know, in between the pebbles. You just talk yourself into throwing it too hard sometimes. Yeah, yeah, she double this. seals, we guard for our life, and then hopefully she doesn't have a slash for, for two. two. Yeah. You know it's going to just honk at the end to get it to the back of the four? Yes. Back button, back four, as back long as your button, shot Back button, and then we're guarding for our lives. If we tap, she's making the double peel, and, yeah. then, yeah. and then it's two. If you make the perfect tap, then we can freeze, and we're sitting really good. But if you don't get it far enough, okay. lands over. So we'll come back four, back yeah. button. Okay. She, like, you know, that is an option to come and tap it, but it's just we've got to throw back line just to get it to the back yeah. Yeah. Well, Jennifer yeah, yeah. Jones yeah, yeah. leading 2-1 okay. in a very wide-open game. This one has yeah. the most yeah. stones in play that we've seen and uh, has been struggling with her draw weight, came up light with her first, and here with her last facing two, again, appears to pull the string. And though again, we haven't been watching enough. Maybe it's a frost-related problem, but that's one, and that's two. Steal a two for Muirhead to take the lead. Eve put a beauty in there, like, uh, you know, the, obviously the ice is a little on the tough side, and she read it perfectly, top of the button, buried, and forced that error out of Jones. They trying to come right around everything, Russ? Yes, yeah, that's, I think they've decided that's their best chance. If they, if they freeze, they won't be shot rock. Hasselberg with the score the way it is going to peel those two center guards. So. I'm going to try to use that uh, red one in the rings as a guard. But I didn't mind the tap, like trying to tap the red back. I love the tap because then you got it both ways, don't yeah. you? And freeze on it later or something. I don't know. This is tough. Get a shot. Hard. Go, go, go. Hard on, push. Oh. That's sweet. Tough one. Just enough to be shot stone. And now here comes the ripping. Yeah, exactly. Just a thick half here gets both. Magnus Nockenhauer, one, two. Spills the shooter wide enough, so it's covering the 12. Two. Split center. Two. Okay, Team World yeah, leading there us. as well as a Tiranzoni, Switzerland, with a 5 3 lead over Jamie Sinclair. Such a well-thrown double there, Cheryl. It, there was, it was never in doubt right from the time she cleaned it off. I love the broom position with this team. They keep the broom on the ice like a John Morris, for instance. A very stable delivery. All similar releases with that straighter handle coming out. Must be uh, fairly easy for Anna to get the broom in the right spot. Well, and to even make that double and stick around for a corner guard as well. Not necessary, but it doesn't hurt. Timeout called by Hasselborg. Yeah, 
Jag vill inte på det där. Jag kan gilla den här. Vi har ju lira i det spåret. Då kommer vi väl dra hit antar jag. Ja, jag, jag gillar klippen. Alltså jag gillar ja. skjut den på den. Ja. Marginalen bara klippa. Ja. Alltså på där. Jag gillar också. Ja, jag tror också jag gillar det. det är en bra den, den är så nära nu så att det, den finns. Absolut. Ja. Vi, vi har ju en med intern bara. Nej men du har den. <laughs> ja. Absolut. Du har jag den. Ja. You could run the yellow in kind of across the top of the red. Yeah, I think you peel a, don't you, wouldn't you just peel the yellow and if it gets really close and you think yeah. it's safe, you go for the double, but um, they were talking about hitting the shot rock. Yeah, I, I didn't like that. You're leaving a center guard up. If your opponent likes it, it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's always. <laughs> <laughs> I think Rachel will love that. Leave the center. <laughs> just a straight peel is really tasty. Femtedel från linan då. Yeah. Interesting playing across the face like that, yeah. Is she trying to clip that back yellow? I think it was the uh, plan B, yeah. Maybe I think if they, they got it. Yeah, I think they did exactly what we said. If make sure you make the peel. If the line's good, try for it. <laughs> These are the two teams in the world I think I would fear the most when I'm down a couple. They defend so well. Well, we mentioned several players not seeing the ice today, and one of them is uh, Ben Hebert, of course, who is the lead stone for Kevin Cooey. He'll be on the ice tomorrow as it's another double draw of mixed doubles, and he'll team up with Don McEwen against Sophia Moberg's, who are watching here, and uh, Christopher Sundgren and Nicholas Adin's team. And we join you again at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time to start day two Continental Cup from Las Vegas. This is so different for a lot of the teams too, because normally if you're not playing a game, you go back and you have a nap and yep. you rest yep. up. But these teams, they're here in the morning and they're either playing or cheering their team on. They're here all day long. It's not their normal routines. Got to get it by now. Oh. And watch where this rolls too. And just maybe peeking out that wide side, but what a great roll. Was it ever? Risky call, but uh, well played. Just barely gets by and still nearly didn't curl enough. Yikes. Danger, danger time now. Eh? So that yellow guard is uh, not very effective out that long. Very nice, and undercover. Sorry, wow, right undercover. Oh, those lines are you know, you're further yeah. to what you're saying about the the deliveries of the uh, Hasselbrook team, similar to Adine, all being taught, of course, by Paya Lindholm. Lindholm yep. It would seem to me that the parts then become interchangeable. If you should lose somebody and you need a replacement, you're finding somebody who's coming through the system with exactly the same delivery. Yeah, yeah you're probably right. That's it's really well thought out. It, they're so close, and it, uh, that's that's the dream of a skip is to, to to have some type of release that's similar to yours or anybody else on the team. It makes it that much simpler. Well, you just think of when Joanne joined Homan's team, and right. she had to relearn. She it took had, her yeah. a year where she said she didn't yeah. play well, and she was having to learn to throw like the other three. Just goes across the top of the guard, hoping to clear it. To, Get to shot stone. Yeah. 
Where are we going? Sarah Langard. Three? Yeah. Så so, so, sätter jag den så är det... Va? Ja. Yeah. Yeah. You could make an argument here if uh, yeah. Rachel yeah. throws up the center guard. You might see uh, Anna's team make the come around. Uh, you, you, you'd like to score here, so the peel's probably the right shot, but you're forced. Two. What are we seeing there? Two reds. They belong to... Savannah Tier and Zoni, Team World, Final Rock to be played by Jamie Sinclair out of Chaska, Minnesota. That's what she calls home. So she does uh, spend quite a bit of time still in uh, the Ottawa area. A couple of Ontario Junior titles, and as I mentioned, played with Rachel Holman, won a Canada Games gold back in 2007. Got him. Oh, and run spins away and gears away, and it's a steal of one. Not going to take the bait here. They, uh, they didn't look at playing the come around at all because they, they, they played the whole end to give Anna the chance to score. <laughs> Might as well try to get that yellow that's uh, buried in the way by here. Yeah, there's no yeah, risk at it. You're right? still going to have room to draw. Okay, this is my best guess. Okay. A little sticky through the middle, eh? Yeah. I kind of like the move here to get it way over there because it might entice Anna to draw. Now, you'd think the draw would be pretty simple, full eight foot, but not tonight. It'll run pretty nice. So it might be a chance to get back in the game going that wide. If Anna hits it, she hasn't got a lot of room for error either. Running okay to the corners. Yeah, and I don't know what she'll do, Russ, because it, it is a little mm. tricky with the draw, and she hasn't thrown a lot of draws, yeah. and not recently. Yeah, I'm guessing she's going to hit it. Second time, though, I've we've heard uh, Rachel Holman say best guess. Mm -hmm. You don't want that to become part of your vocabulary too often. No, and I, I think it speaks a lot to the ice and the frost and just the uncertainty. Going that deep, it changes Anna's call. Yeah. Sorry, Rich. Sorry. They look at the little stun. How so? Well, I think it was in front of the T line. She, I, she might, but the two point lead hit it. Worst you're going to be is one up with the hammer. I would say in normal conditions, Anna's making this nine out of ten times, probably higher than that. This is more like 60 40. Watched uh, Jennifer miss two in a row to the eight foot. And she day. Final stone, and it's a draw against two. Full eight foot. I like to see the brushers just cleaning it in. To the top edge of the four, and a Hasselbord picks up another single, doubles the count on Rachel Holman.
on his first evening Thursday night here in Las Vegas. It's women's team play to complete day one. Now Hasselberg, team world up by three. Rachel Holman does have last rock. She'll have the hammer playing the Yellowstone two and seven. Lisa Weagle. The former World Junior Champion of 2010, Agnes Nachenhauer. Trying to play a straight tap on her own. Didn't curl enough. All right, let's update what's happening on sheet A. Eve Muirhead, Jennifer Jones, and uh, Jones down by one, sitting one. But with that broom, is trying to remove her own, force the blank, be down with the hammer, coming home. And it's falling away, you hear her say, so she flashes and gives force to take the single. And in doing that now, gives up last rock, gives the hammer to Muirhead in a 3-3 tie okay. to play eight. Yeah, she had a choice to draw for two. To take the lead. To go up one. Chooses to blank. And misses. <coughs> yeah, I don't know where you're on that, Cheryl. I'm old school. I want up, take your two and you can get it. Yeah, one I... Up coming I, home. And this ice is tricky. I, I think mm -hmm. make the other, other teams aren't making finesse shots out here right now. And the other thing to consider is the format that even if the game ends up tied, you're not playing an extra, but you pick up a half exactly. point right. for your team. Which could be big for <laughs> Team North America. Well, they've got nothing so far. North America. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a clean sweep through the first two draws earlier today. Mixed doubles, world winning them all, six points. All three games tonight, women's team play are worth a single point. And in that game, Muirhead Jones, that one is tied. So that's a split at the moment. The two others, including ours, and the game between Sinclair and Tiranzoni, the world is leading. to the uh, Rachel make sure I keep it there eh? pocket yeah I, 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 I wouldn't be afraid to do that Cheryl it's, it's oh, early okay, enough okay, well because well, these two okay. red uh, world stones are in pretty good spot no matter what you do yeah yeah okay I think they're gonna freeze the pocket no nope. are they going around everything I think so I thought they might have I heard them talk about freezing the pocket but they just called t-line wait so it's just such a short run yeah, for World. Yeah, yeah exactly. Looks light. Five. Six. Yep. Hard. Right, let's go. Wait only. Six, Wait seven. Seven. Off, seven. Eight. Oh. Nine. She's got to stop. Nice one. 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 Nice one.
Då borde vi kunna sätta det nu då. They yelled six out of her hand, then they said it was a five, and they decided to play the freeze. All of a sudden it was a nine, and it ended up just about where they wanted it. It's, it's, it's tough to get this Early rocks in the right spot. Very, very good guess there, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she keep going down the yeah, sheet. She guessed long enough. We'll be right. How close that was to going right through. Well, that's unusual for Sarah. I don't know if it picked or grabbed some frost out there. I had one go in the uh, third end that went crazy. Uh, could it be the stone? With that speed, though, you wouldn't think so. No. It's a pretty good shot. It's got them thinking. Time out's been called. Which not just play the short yeah. arm rest with the score? I think you have to. If they're looking at... I wonder if they're worried about running the wide one and then rolling and staggering the other one. Like, Could. But yeah, I think that's... I don't, you can't be drawing, can you? No, I, I wouldn't think so. He ran the right hand one and got a little thin rolled on top of the other red there in a bit of trouble. Maybe hit the uh, closest to the center line one. Get rid of the corner. Try to get that buried one. Angle it back. Got it. Oh, now watch where it spills. A little bit more and it'll grind in. And sandpaper back edge of the 12 as we drop into the game between Sinclair and Tiran Zoni. And it is Sinclair sitting the one back button center line. Sinclair with last rock, trying to cut the lead down. Toughest shot out here right now. Straight draw, trying to guess in the weight and the path. She threw this hard and it's just stopping. And only one for Sinclair. One. So Tiranzoni will have the lead and Last Rock coming home. And that, uh, the gripper getting caught is the gripper just getting stuck in the, the frost. In the frost. You, you do, it starts to catch. You'll see even grippers. We've seen people lose their grippers in this frost. It just pulls it off. People in uh, curling clubs with less than perfect ice can relate. 
<laughs> you can. You Where's my gripper? Oh, it's off. back there. <laughs> so, like, we need a bit of a favor like here on one of these two shots from Anna Hasselberg. No, It'll roll out here, and the three is still a possibility. This is what we talked about so. the opening of having this team just throw normal weight instead of don't under throw this because it's behind the T line because you're afraid of rolling out. Throw the right speed, keep it firm, yeah. keep it true. Yeah, Let's compare some uh, numbers and we'll look at uh, Rachel Holman and Anna Hasselborg. Well, you have to really look at the draw percentages there. And Anna hasn't had as many draws as Rachel has, but the ones she's had, she's made 95% of her draws, and that's been the advantage. Player numbers are brought to you by New Holland. Hashtag Together Blue. Timeout being called by. Team Holman. Jeff? Oh, are you timing us? Sorry. I don't think he can like angle that oh, we were just running out of time. yellow onto the red. We just want to have time for the two shots. They're dying. We need control. Yeah. To kill it, you have to. I got to hit half high, though. Yep. Control? Even if you hit a thick half, like, we'll get a bite. Call. Just control. Gotta hit half. How much weight? Control. Okay. How are you throwing this? Half a rock. Try to have three yellow in the rings and hope for that error. I guess you might get lucky if you hit this extremely thin. The shooter could go onto the red, make a skinny double, but I don't think that's the play. They're trying to just basically play the uh, the split. Yeah, thick half. Control. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Wait, close. Hard. Hard. Really gotta go. <laughs> Hard to get anything. Start a curl on them. Yep, so go, go, wow. go, 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 go. Yikes. It's just been, Rachel's yeah. just struggling a little bit with believing what yeah. the weight is. She's been, she's underthrown some draws. She underthrew that one. Sometimes you just can't feel it. You think you're throwing the right weight. And then I don't think the ice adds to it. It could be getting frosty or she could be adding more, but just not enough. You never catch up. Now we have seen in the past, Rachel Holman struggle with the ice. Sometimes it's more a mental thing. Is that a case tonight or is it just legitimate? Can't figure it out. Yeah, when I've seen them struggle with the ice, it's been more they kind of talk themselves out of playing well. And I don't see that at all tonight. They're just kind of accepting it. It's just been Rachel. They tell her to throw that little bit extra, and I don't think she's caught up to what she needs to truly throw. And sometimes you just can't get that feel. But they're not really over talking it. They're just trying to figure out, but it hasn't quite come yet. Robot! Robot! There's another example of the ice vec. It's just tough. It just really is. Anna's just about made all her draws, and that wasn't close. Well, and you, you just don't play an ice like this. We very rarely get. <laughs> Especially any of us from out west, <laughs> we, we very rarely see frost. Yes, right. <laughs> ever. <laughs> we don't really know what it is. Yeah. Well, yeah. I do. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. <laughs> I remember I used to go out to out east to the Halifax yeah. Spiel and be like, "What is this white stuff? <laughs> and why is it on my ice?" <laughs> But uh, just to reiterate, uh, Dave Merkler and crew, the, the surface is spectacular. They just can't keep the moisture out of here. But it looks it looks like it should be really good tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No more so. rain. Five. <laughs> we just got to get it there. <laughs> it's just gone. So we'll go to the eight.
trying to work their way back into it. And this is the only game remaining on the ice now here on this Thursday night. Opening day, Continental Cup. Team uh, North America with Jamie Sinclair out of the Chaska Curling Club in Minnesota playing Sylvana Tiranzoni from Arau, Switzerland during the break. Rachel Holman decided to uh, shake after giving up that steal of two. So it's an 8-3 final there and uh, another point for Team World as they uh, now take a 7 nothing lead. And then as we play skip stones, So again here, Tiranzoni and Team World are up. And they also do have Tiranzoni, the last rock. They have the hammer. There she is, the, uh, the skip. Savannah Tiranzoni revamping her team just a little bit. Again, as we see in, uh, in our country as well, the four-year cycle starts and teams try to rebuild for another run at the uh, Olympics. They've had a pretty good run so far this season as a new team, and that usually takes a little longer, and you've got two skips coming together. That could be tougher. Well, this is it, Alina Pets, the world champion from Sapporo in 2015. Was an alternate with uh, Miriam Odd a couple of years, played in the Olympics in Sochi as an alternate, was, was there with was Miriam Ott. Like going out a little further. Broom head with more ice, but... Do you want like back eight or And it's interesting the combination they chose to yeah. have Sylvana hold the broom, call the game, Elena throw last rocks. Sylvana's just been an amazing shot maker, but if I would say I'd lean to her Elena for that key draw to maybe win a game, and that's what the skips have to do. So making Elena the last rock I'm thrower good. makes a lot of sense, and that gives Sylvana a lot more hitting opportunities, which she's just brilliant at. And I think Elena is uh, a really strong brusher, too, on top of it. Tay, going now. Tay, you're up. Saw it today with the mixed doubles. And right here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, oh. Jamie Sinclair goes around. Yeah. Up by two, make one go away. Pretty good start for uh, Jamie and her new team. You know, the, the rest of them Jamie has, but the rest really haven't. Uh, Two, the two uh, sisters haven't played at the, in this caliber very often. 13-9 there. It was well, the Anderson there. sisters, Sarah and Club Taylor. Back eight out of hand. Back yeah. Just make it go away here. Alina Petz. Neuschwander. Barbazat. And the brush goes up. And again, here you go. What a day it has been. That's two more points as they pick up the win. So now stretching their lead, six to five is your final. And that now extends their lead to eight nothing. One more game to update you on when we come back. The 2019 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. The 2019 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by Tim Hortons, official copy of Curling Canada, by Home Hardware, here's how, and by Purex Bathroom Tissue, find comfort in Purex. So just moments ago, as Jennifer Jones plays Eve Muirhead and Jones sitting the one, just edge of the button, final stone for Eve Muirhead. Out of Not Dunkeld, whoa, whoa, world whoa. champion. Whoa. 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 
with Jennifer Dodds now joining the team. Potts with the brush as Vicki Chalmers pulls the uh, broom and through the hole for the two and the win. And 5-3 is your final there. And that's another point for Team World. So let's get you caught up in the game story from our featured game, Holman and Hasselberg. And you think about that third when Holman had the opportunity, really never did get a feel for the ice. And it's reflected in her 61 percentage. The game story brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. So, sweep this morning, sweep this afternoon, sweep tonight, 9 nothing to beat. The largest, biggest lead in Continental Cup history now. Previous was 7-2 back in 2011. Team North America, 9 nothing. as we turn our attention to tomorrow. And another day of two mixed doubles, then men's team play. We'll start it off 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. Don McEwen, Ben Hebert against Sophia Mulbergs and Christopher Sundgren. Interesting that they are all leads for their respective teams. But boy, what a day for Team North America as they are swept by Team World here at the Continental Cup in Las Vegas and on Canada's Sports Leader, TSA.